What's going on, golf addicts? Welcome to Tour Junkies After Dark, presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. I'm David Barnett. That's Pat Perry. I never can't get it right. Uh, yep, we're here, for Tour Junkies After Dark. We just finished our own podcast talking about the Genesis Invitational 2021 from Riviera Country Club in Los Angeles, California. Yay. And now it's late at night. We've had a few adult beverages and uh you know we're here to break it down we're going to talk about some of our favorite bets i got a top 20 lock that i really like i got a couple matchups the DraftKings sportsbook posted earlier today that i'm i'm excited about it's monday night we're ready to kick back and watch what we what is now the strongest field we've seen in 2021 pat genesis invitational riviera country club known for uh you know it's kind of a bomber's track honestly poa greens small greens one of the tougher courses on the PGA Tour historically, year to year. Course history matters here more so than almost every course on tour, with the exception of like Mirfield Village, Augusta National, and Wileye Country Club. So course history and experience around here is going to matter. Um, it's a great event, great field. DJ is is at the top of the betting, uh, betting odds here for DraftKings Sportsbook. Let's get into this, man. I mean... Let's look at uh you know kind of the shorter names up here that you like in terms of uh, potentially betting on a DraftKings sportsbook if you were going to throw a few you know a few points down a few nickels down if you can who's some uh, who are some shorter names that are catching your eye here at the top well I think my favorite guy uh, short is going to be Tony Finau he's at twenty two to one I think that's a good number for him we've seen him in great recent form he's almost won the last couple of weeks. Went over almost, to Saudi. He's been almost winning for years now. Is he going to get years. the second one though? You know, like he, maybe it's this week. I don't know. But you know what? If if I can I get him at know. twenty-two to one, I like that number. He also went over to Saudi Arabia a couple weeks ago and almost won there as well. So oh. he's just like Tony, almost female. But maybe this week it will always be a bridesmaid, never a bride. Is really what Tony get it done, female. And I like him at twenty-two to one. So I think that's a good number. And then also Victor Hovland at 35 to 1. Now, we talked about experience being key here. And I do think course history experience matters. Um, but for a guy like Victor Hovland, who just and, and we've seen this with a lot of these guys that are like like Matthew Wolf, Colin Morikawa, Victor Hovland, they've all been able to really go to these venues for the first time ever and just you know, and still win, and there's some win equity there. So I like Hovland also at 35 to one. So anything less than you know, in that shorter range there, those were my two favorites. Yeah, I, I while you're on Hovland, I love Victor Hovland at 35 to one. I'm with you. I, I get, you know, I, we're talking out of both sides of our mouth here. History matters. Um, it does. Experience around Riviera is going to matter. I just think Hovland's one of those class players that it just it matters a little less. The ball striking is so good. You know, getting onto these greens and regulation is really important. It's tough to do. Um, and and But his iron play is so, so, so solid. Finished runner-up at Torrey Pines, which is a very similar course. Torrey Pines, very similar POA greens from what we from what we hear from a lot of people. And they're also Torrey and, and Riviera, the only two courses on the PGA Tour rotation that have Kikuya, fairways and rough now if you're watching this going what in the world did he just say kikuya is a type of grass um you know and it does matter it, it, it kikuya matters okay um how the ball performs out of that rough does matter okay and he just finished runner up at tory pines just a few weeks ago at the american express i, I do think victor hovland gives you a good value and and true win equity despite being a first timer I, the thirty-five to one number is just too good. His iron play is too solid. The the around the green play is improving. He just won in December at the OHL Classic, which you touted here on this very this very show uh, at twenty-eight to one. I think it was twenty-eight or twenty-six to one. So I think Hovland is for sure in play. If I'm going to go a little shorter, I think Cantlay is the is the guy in the really short numbers. He's sixteen and a half to one. Uh, right now, as of Monday night, he he almost he could have won last week. He could have won at the Amex the last time we saw him. So I mean, T three last week at Pebble Beach, T two at the Amex. He's playing so good. He's a California guy. He's very comfortable in California on these type of courses. He's played here three years in a row. This is his fourth. 
He's got a T17, a T15, and a T4. So obviously, Riviera sets up well for him. He's a tremendous ball striker. But I just think from a value standpoint, as I look at the odds on DraftKings, like I like him better and the number better than uh, Justin Thomas ahead of him at 14 to 1, Rory McElroy ahead of him at 12 and a half to 1. I honestly would put it DJ Rom Cantley if if it were if it were me making the odds. I, I think that's uh, I think that's a good number. So you're getting a good value at 16 and a half to 1. That's as short as I'm going to go. Pat, can I get into this mid range a little bit? You can, but let I me can. just give a, a quick uh, little public service announcement oh. because you were talking about Kakuya grass. Uh, and, and which is an interesting grass surface, but let me just say, if you're if you're going to your local Home de- Depot or Lowe's and you're looking for some sod to put down, I don't know if you can get Kakuya there. At least we can't here in Augusta, Georgia, in Savannah, Georgia. But I, I just don't know. But uh, it's it's an interesting grass surface for sure. And I appreciate all that you said about Kakuya. Very nice, very nice. Yes, that is probably going to be tough to find um, around these parts. Uh, I will go. I want to look into that kind of mid-range approaching triple-digit territory and talk about a guy that I think is going to be fairly chalky in DFS. Maybe that means you want to fade him and you want to you want to you want to put some money on him on the sportsbook side. And that's our friend Max Homa, uh, mm. guest of the Tour Junkies podcast and friend of the Tour Junkies podcast, who's playing exceptionally well right now since the 2021 his 21. Season started uh, at the Amex. He finished T21 there, T18 at Torrey Pines, tied for seventh last week at the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Max Homa is an L.A. guy. He's quite familiar with Riviera, finished fifth here last year. He is number one in this field over the last 24 rounds in strokes gained, scoring on par fives. If you look at past winners here, you know, you got to eat up on the, you got to eat on the par fives, Okay. Number one in this very strong, very, very heavy, top heavy, heavyweight field. He's number one in the last 24 rounds. Max Homa is playing really well right now and very confident. So I love him at 70 to one. I love that value. And he's a PJ Tour winner. So if he gets in the mix on Sunday, I think he knows how to close the door and get it done. Next up, I'm going to go with a guy I think I think you like as well. At 90 to one, Carlos Ortiz, who Kind of cracked the seal on his first tournament uh, PJ Tour victory back in the fall, uh, in the fall swing, but is has now found himself in contention. He was tied for fourth uh, at Scottsdale at the Waste Management just a couple of weeks ago. Really didn't play well on Sunday. Could have done it, just didn't. Um, but he comes here at Riviera, having missed his first few cuts the first few times he played here. But then in 2019, finished third. And in 2020, finished 37th. Carlos Ortiz, plenty long, um, you know, good approach player, can uh, can score on these par fives. His putting, both here and at Torrey Pines, two places where the greens are very similar. The POA behave very similar. Uh, putts pretty well. 16th in this field, uh, putting on both of those surfaces. If you look over the long term, so I, I think Carlos Ortiz at 90 to one, a guy who just won in the fall and almost won a few weeks ago, found himself in one of the last groups on Sunday. That's what you want. You need a guy who's going to be confident on Sunday, and if they're in the last group, second to last group, they can make a run and not just crap down their leg. So I think Carlos Ortiz is at play there at 90-1. to Yeah, I love that number for Ortiz. I I like Homa as well at 70 to 1. And Ortiz, you know, when you're getting 90 to 1, I mean, that is a lot better than what we're seeing in other sports books. I'm seeing mostly at 66 to 1, right around in that area. So it's a good number for him at 90 to 1. So hopefully, uh, when you're listening to this, that is still what that number is. Um, I will also throw in in this mid range, I, I didn't talk about him as much as far as DFS on our show, but. I do like Hideki Matsuyama. He's at 45 to 1. Now, look, I think that we have not seen the greatest form from him, but you know, he's had a week or two off. I think this is uh this is a good spot for him getting on back on a course that he loves, has good course history here. And uh so I think that uh I think Hideki at 45 to 1 is a good number. You're taking Hideki and Finau, a couple of guys that just can't close the door. Lately. Now Hideki can win. Don't 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 hate on my well, I mean, hopefully both of them can win if you're taking them. And Finau's 22, 22 to one. I mean, I, they they have won, but they haven't won in a long time, Pat. 
All right, so looking at kind of the long shots, the triple digit outright numbers, uh, I think starting at 100 to 1, Cameron Tringali is pretty tough to ignore. Plays decent here, Riviera. You know, top 10 finish in 2017, top 30 last year, but his form right now coming in to Riviera is pretty hot and it's improving. Uh, T18 at Torrey Pines a couple weeks ago, tied for 17th at the Waste Management, tied for 7th just last week at the AT&T Pro-Am. The iron play's been fantastic. He putts well on POA. He scores well on par fives. I think Cameron Tringali is one of the better val- like long shot values on the entire board at 100 to 1. I mean, I would bet him at 70 to 1. And and at 100 to 1, I I love it. Uh then I'm going to get to our boy Lanto Griffin, who plays big events with big fields very very well. He's 150 to 1 right now. Uh, on on DraftKings Sportsbook, and I love that for Lanto. He hits the ball long enough. His iron play is great. Uh, he plays well in California. Played well at the Zozo here in the fall. I think Lanto is uh, is an, an interesting name down there at one fifty to one. He played here last year for the first time. Finished thirty seventh. We last saw him at the Farmers at Torrey Pines, where he finished seventh. I, I love Lanto here. I think that's a great number at one hundred fifty to one. He's another PJ Tour winner. He's he's closed the door on a PJ Tour event which I like better coming down the stretch if he's in it on Sunday. A guy who's not done that yet, but, well, I don't know if I should. I don't know. I just talked myself out of him. Never mind. I'm not going to go there. Um, I like Brendan Steele. In, what? I'm sorry. I can't. I'm just I, I, like, in your head, you talked him out? I, like, I, I just worked it out in my head. I, it's not worth it. Okay. That worth. was a quick workout of your, out of your head. Got a quick brain. Uh, Brendan Steele at 175 to one, I think is an interesting number. He should have won the Sony a few weeks ago. He loves California. He hits it a long way. He scores on par fives. I'm honestly not really sure why, like his history here is just kind of bleh. Like he makes cuts, but he doesn't really do much with it. Um, but he should have won the Sony T4 there, T21 at the Yamex. Top 30 somethings the last couple of weeks. He hits it a long way. I think 175 to one. He's a multi time PGA Tour winner, I believe. Brandon Steele is a long, that's a long number. So I like him at 175 to one talking bombs. And listen, there have been some long shot winners here. This is a stacked field. Chances are you're not going to see a winner come out of that triple digit number. But, you know, JB Holmes two years ago won at 150 to one. Um, James Hahn in 2015 won at 200 to one. John Merrick in 2013 won at 250 to one. He's selling insurance right now somewhere. So I mean, it can happen. It it can happen. It's not likely, but it could happen. Yeah, I mean, I think that you know, long shots can certainly win here. I do like in a field like this, the the shorter odds guys. I think are, is is where uh, your money is more well spent. But um. For my long shots, I like some Sam Burns at 125 to one. I've seen them on almost every other sports book at 100 to one, but you get them at 125 to one on DraftKings. I think that's a good number. He's a guy that's been in good recent form. This is a good course fit for him. He was um, top 30 here last year. Um, you look at his ball striking. You look at um, you know his his driving distance he's top 10 in the field in par 4 scoring from 450 to 500 yards which we've got i think seven par 4s are in that range this week so i like that number as well so sam burns at 125 to 1 i think is a good number and then last week we saw maverick mcneely play well at 150 to 1 um you know i i like that number at 150 to 1 for a guy like him who's a california kid who's experienced out here experience and he he mentioned it I, now Maybe I'm just just going too much all in on his press conference, but after Sunday, he gave a great press conference where he said he basically it was like a light triggered in his head, where he really had some added confidence with how he came, you know, how he he felt down the stretch, how he reacted under pressure when he was, uh, you know, close to the lead and things like that. Hit a fantastic shot on Sunday into 18. So I think that uh, Maverick McNeely might may have turned a little bit of a corner. There's been a little bit of hype behind that kid, but you're getting him at 150 to 1. I think that's a good number. I will take him there. So there you go. All right, Pat. I got a couple of, a couple of you know, I got a couple of matchups I like here. A couple of head-to-head matchups. DK Sportsbook got him out early on a Monday, and I like that. And, of course, I love 
underdogs on the side of head-to-head matchups in golf because, you know, I, I'm a sucker for an underdog and a long shot. So here it is. I'm going to take the young guy, Colin Morikawa, at plus 100 over Hideki Matsuyama. Now, Hideki, you know, DraftKings given a big boost to Hideki's course history here, which is obviously pretty stellar. Uh, Morikawa only played here one time, I believe, finished last year, finished 26. But Morikawa's a stud, PGA champion, multi-time winner on the PGA Tour, great iron player. Hideki's come out 2021 and been a little off. Plus 100, I like the number there. Then I'm going to take the Canadian Corey Connors at plus 100 over Sergio Garcia. Sergio has been playing here a long time. He, he's he's no stranger to this place, uh, so he definitely has the course history angle on his side. Uh, Corey Connors has played here once, missed the cut. Um, but, you know, coming out 2021, doing okay. 17th at the Waste Management Phoenix Open. If you, aren't, if you follow golf closely, you know Corey Connors is one of the best ball strikers, iron players on all the PJ Tour. Anytime you get that, you know, he sucks at putting, but anytime you get a great ball striker like Corey Connors, you get Sergio, who's kind of volatile. We haven't seen a lot of him in 2021. He's been playing on the European Tour a little bit. I don't know. I, I like the plus money there, the plus number there at plus 100 for Corey Connors. I got a top 20 bet that I think is probably one of the better top 20 long shot bets you could ask for. And, and that's my buddy. You know I can't. You know I can't stop him. Mm. You know I can't stop Luke List, my man. Listen, Luke List loves Riviera. Okay, in the last five years, he has two top twenties, and in that same five year term, he has four top thirties. So he's got two top twenties, two other top thirties. He loves his place. He's five to one as a top twenty bet, and recently he's been playing pretty good. T twenty one at the Amex, T ten at the at uh, at the farmers at Torrey Pines, tied for 30th at the Waste Management. Luke List is playing good. He's hitting it a long He always hits it a long way. He's one of the longest players in this field. I love Luke List here. So uh, there's the top 20 bet for you. That's about all I got, man. That's that's about it. A couple head-to-heads that I really like. A couple top 20s. I'd go ahead and jump on those if you haven't, uh, if you can still get the numbers. And, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we can get some winners this week. I'll add a couple a couple matchups for me, actually. Um, I like some Tony Finau. He's at plus 100 over Bryson DeChambeau. I think that's a good number. I actually like if, that. I don't like Bryson this week. If you're if you're in on Tony Finau this week, take him in that matchup over Bryson. I just like it much more. So, And then I like Rory. He's at plus 100 over Justin Thomas. I like that number as well. Mm-hmm. G- JT is coming. Now, look. JT has been in great form. So, well, and Rory's been in pretty good form too. Now he has a couple of bad holes here and there. But I mean, JT, Rory plus money anywhere against anybody. I love it for plus money. Yeah, yeah. He's got two top fives here the last two years. Yeah, don't sleep on that. I like that. So that's all I got. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Hey, thanks, thanks, Pat. Um, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a subscribe. Comment there in the YouTube channel uh, who you like, who your favorite outright is, maybe who your long shot. Like, who's your bomb? Triple digit number. Who's your bomb long shot you think has a chance to win here at Riviera? Drop that in the comments here on YouTube. Subscribe to the DraftKings YouTube channel if you haven't already. We are the Tour Junkies. Check us out, tourjunkies.com, anywhere you listen to podcasts and the Tour Junkies YouTube channel. Hey. May your screens be green for the Genesis Invitational 2021. I'm DB. See ya.